Can you believe Scott Woodward pulled this off? Hiring Jimbo Fisher away from Florida State? I can't believe FSU didn't try to keep him. They're a bunch of smooth-brained, ignorant. Hey. Yep, sorry, sorry. The future of A&M football is brighter than ever. Oh, look. Whoa, a Baltar fortune teller machine. Hey, should we find out how many national championships we're going to get under Jimbo? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm the all-knowing Baltar! Your future seasons in this crystal ball, I see. A single question you may ask of me. Baltar, how many national championships is Jimbo going to win for A&M? Baltar, the all-knowing, says... Oh, uh, it's you guys. It's a little awkward for Baltar, but uh, you put the coin in, so Baltar is legally obligated to give you an answer. You guys just promise to be cool, okay? It's zero. Like, nada. Nothing. Zilcho, zero. Zero? But he has to be better than Kevin Sumlin! The weight of Baltar's knowledge would crush you. Okay, 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 so sure, maybe we don't win a national championship, but, but Jimbo no doubt has us lose a heartbreaker in the title game and finish a close second. Nope. Make the playoff? Nada. Win the conference? Negative. Win the division? Nay. Have a winning record against Ole Miss? Baltar is sorry, but no. So in six years we don't do any of that stuff? Nope. And you all sound like future Tennessee fans. <laughs> they thought they were going to be safe this week. Oh, I got to do some stress relief push-ups. Are you serious? But he won a national championship at Florida State. Yeah, it turns out Jameis Winston was carrying those teams a little bit more than we thought. What was in those crab legs? Whoa! And also, my man over here, just don't even with that plaque, okay? <laughs> plaque? What plaque? You know what plaque. What is he talking about? What's he talking about, Patrick? What's he talking about, Patrick? <sighs> Jimbo Fisher, head football coach, filling the date national championship plaque? I thought it would be a good motivation technique. Has Twitter seen this? <gasps> this cannot be happening. Jimbo, a failure? We can't even win the West! Don't forget Texas joining the SEC! What? what? Yeah. But we have a handshake deal! Buddy, it ain't on paper, so you got Jack. Gonna be sick. Those fat cats in the SEC office are nothing but a bunch of yellow-bellied, no hey. good- I'm sorry, it just kind of comes out. I don't really know. Look, it's not all just gonna be terrible for the next six years or anything. There's some great moments in there, too. Like the seven overtime win against LSU. A walk-off field goal against Alabama. You rush the field there. A 51 to 10 win over Mississippi State with a third string quarterback. Wow. Mississippi State must be awesome if they're not Jimbo highlights. Uh, yeah, they're not. But there is a top five finish in a shortened pandemic season. Pandemic? Baltimore's not touching that one, but get ready for Zoom happy hours. <laughs> you know what? Maybe Baltar's right. I mean, sure, it's not what we want to hear, but Texas A&M is the most unique and loyal fan base in the country. We'd show up to the stadium no matter who was coaching. The most important thing, though, we need to keep looking. We need to keep trying to find that coach that puts us over the top. And on that day, friends, we'll find that coach that brings us a national championship. Yeah. A. Whoop. Thanks, Baltar. This hurts to hear, but I think we needed it. One more thing! GameStop! Just trust me and start buying. 76 million people, fully guaranteed, non-offsetting. What? You might want to go ahead and start sucking up to Monty Davis and the rest of those boosters. You're gonna need those checkbooks. No oh, and Peyton, maybe don't live stream Midnight Yell. The internet's just not gonna get it. Keep your heads up, Texas A&M fans. Next week could be just a little bit better. Unless they hire Bobby Petrino as their full-time coach. And this episode was brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Understanding you.